So I went to the store to get my usual KD and pop, right? Oh, I'm making it now. KD, yeah, 70% more KD. It's a super size. I like that. Anyway, that. And I got Cherry Pepsi. Cherry Pepsi! Yeah, it's a zero sugar one. Yeah, because I don't drink sugary pop. I'm not supposed to anyway. But then again, I only got that because they didn't have the strawberries and cream Dr. Pepper. Hmm. But that's not zero. So eh, maybe it's a good thing. But anyway, I went there and I got that. And she overcharged. It was like it was supposed to be $3.40. That's how much it is every time I go there and get it. Today, for some reason, it was $3.60. So for whatever reason, she added an extra 20 cents to it. And that particular woman that works there does that with everything, right? Like pop is supposed to be like a can of pop is supposed to be a dollar and that's it. Just one dollar. But whenever she's working, it's like a dollar five or a dollar ten or whatever she decides. So I'm wondering if she's actually taking money for herself when she adds on the extra charges and stuff. Because the other people that work there don't do that. But I heard her saying to somebody that she's going to be there until 4. So if she works there until 4, then I think from now on, I'm going to go to that store after 4 when she's not working. And that way I can get my stuff, whatever I get there, at the prices that they're supposed to be. I like that. <laughs> the prices that they're supposed to be instead of what she charges. It's always overpriced with her. I don't know why, but it is. And I don't know who to talk to about that to get that, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, it is what it is, whatever. I'm making the K I'm making the KD right now. I'm going to eat that and then maybe go for a walk or something. I don't know. I'm just, I just don't want to stay inside all day. <sighs> and there's a, yeah, yeah. There's a route that I want to take. I want to see if how long it takes me to walk that and then maybe do that every day. And then that way I get my exercise. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I want to see how long it takes me to walk that, that route there. I don't know. Well, I didn't get to go for that walk that I wanted to go for because fire alarm went off. <laughs> I went down for a smoke and I was only intending, this was at 2 p.m., I was only intending to go down there, have a smoke, come back up. But while I was up there, I saw all this black smoke coming out of the 
like beside the building in the in the back lane there or side lane whatever beside the building and I heard the fire alarms inside the building so I'm like oh great so I walked around sure enough there was a suite on the second floor that was engulfed in flames and big black smoke coming out and everything the whole apartment is totally gutted now but I was out there until 4.30 in the afternoon, like two and a half hours waiting for the fire department to finish up and then get the elevators working again and everything. You know, and I live on the 12th floor, right? And I'm like, I'm not walking up. I'm not walking up. I kept saying that and everything. And then it was like super, super late. Stupid me left my phone up here or else I would have got all that in the vlog, but whatever. Um, so I finally gave in. They weren't, they weren't turning on the elevator. So I actually walked all the way up 12, 12 stories. Holy crap. I was tired by the time I got up here. But anyway, an hour later, around 530, that's when they turned the elevators back on. It's crazy. Like, ah, and now... It's just after six, so I'm going to go back outside. This time I'm going to bring my phone with me just in case something else happens because you never know. And from this point forward, I am going to take my phone with me every single time I go out just in case. <laughs>